is a badass dude. Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. Okay, all right, here we go. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm Keith Warren, and welcome to the show into the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. This is my place. And on today's program, we're going to be going out with some deer hunters that are basically all returning hunters. Okay, we're going to start out with a couple. Now, Tim brought his wife last year, and he brought her again this year. Last year, he shot a beautiful chocolate antler buck, the biggest buck he'd ever taken. Wow, nice dark horns. Can't ask for anything better. I've been waiting a long time to shoot a buck like this. This is amazing. Well, this year he's back and he brought his wife again. All right, here goes nothing. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm shooting a bow or a gun and not uh, throwing these things at the deer. Hatch it. <laughs> yeah. It'll be their first time to enjoy the brand new lodge and hopefully take a buck bigger than he did last year. And then later in the show, we've got a father-son team going out. Austin Rohr, who is with Superior Outfitters, is bringing little Ryan Rohr with him, and he's got a surprise for him, in addition to a nice buck hunt. The deer, they look fantastic this year. Every year, the deer get better and better. When you manage properly for bucks, you're gonna manage properly for does. And just like you've gotta take a certain number of bucks every year, we have to take a certain number of does. So it's for that reason, we use the hunters that come out here to help us take those does. So we're out here for our first afternoon. I brought the bow with me. If we get a doe in close enough, I'm gonna to try to take a doe with my bow. It's a little warm out. But we got a nice breeze coming through here. I think it's gonna be a good afternoon. Yeah, it's gonna be a good set. We already got a doe coming in. Oh yeah, look at her. There she is. We got some does coming in on the left here, Tim. Looks like three of them. Yeah, there's, I see three. That one's kind of big. Hope they come up and eat underneath them oak trees. Yeah, it'd be a nice shot if we can get them that close. We're in no hurry, really. Yeah. They must be eating acorns. We had an unbelievable acorn ground yeah. this year. Yeah. Acorns everywhere. That one, one in the middle is pretty big. I take the one in the middle. That's a that's a nice mature doe. Look at him, look at him fighting. Look at him. Yeah, she's running another two off. The bigger one is. Hey, go ahead, Ranger, Tim, see how far they are. She's about 20 yards. There you go. If you want to take her, when they clear, you can take her. Okay. She's 21. This first one's 15. It's, it's your call if you feel comfortable with it. I think that's good right there. Take your time. Good, good hit. Good. There she goes. She's running to the right. She's running to the right. Oh, she's done. She's done. She ain't gonna make it. I think she just went down right there. Yeah, that's a good shot. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. That's a nice mature doe right there. Thanks for helping us out. Yeah, no problem. Thank gotta you. Take, gotta take the does with the box. Exactly, you got to. So I'm out here for my uh, first morning hunt. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I was able to harvest a doe. The weather looks like it's going to be good today. Hopefully, we can see something with some horns. We got a little overcast, so it should be a little cooler today, hopefully. Yeah, they should. Maybe it'll keep them on their feet. We'll sit tight and see what happens. He's pretty. What do you think of him? He's really pretty. He's, uh, he's got split G2s. Got a little bit of velvet hanging off of him. Beautiful buck, real symmetrical. He's got a kicker off his coming off his left side. About four or five inch kicker. He's pretty chocolate down there around his base is where that velvet's coming off. Yeah, he's an awesome deer. Looks pretty mature. Well, we'll sit tight and see what happens. Alright. Hey, hey, over here, Tim. To the right. Look at the right. Look at coming out of the grass. Here comes a big deer. Here comes a big deer. Oh gosh. Come oh my lord. That is a badass deer. What the heck? Look at he's a big deer. He's got he's a old deer. Yeah, it's got a nice body. Five years old at least. Tell that big chest cavity. Yeah, I'm boy. He 
piece of tin. Yeah. He might not come in. Little grab claws on him. He's smart. He knows the gig's up. I knew he wasn't coming in. I didn't think he'd come in. A pretty bug. He was pretty. Pop that G2 Bucks worked his way in. He's presenting us with a good opportunity. I really like that. Those G2s on him. The split. He's got flyers coming off right underneath the split on the left side. There's two of them. I think I want to take him. There's two of them. Look at that other buck. Just ran in. Oh, that's a pretty buck. Yeah. He's a real typical two. There's his flyer. That's pretty. Yeah, you're going to have to wait till he gets clear. Yeah. Wow, look at this buck. Holy smokes. He's even bigger than I thought. Look at him. Look at these split G2s. He's got split G2s over here on this side, another little flyer, two flyers on this side. Three, four flyers. He's got this kicker over here, four or five inch kicker. He's got a little velvet coming off of him. Holy smokes. He's just huge, he's beautiful. Definitely the biggest buck I've ever seen. Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are gonna keep my farms working tip top shape. You know, I fill up a lot of times at different places that I don't know how long that fuel has been in that tank. It's for that reason that I always rely on the Lucas oil injector cleaner for my truck. Now, I've always said that you take care of your gun, your gun's gonna take care of you, and I wind up using Lucas Oil Outdoor products on all my firearms, and so it's no surprise that I use the Lucas Oil treatment on my fuel. And so, if you wanna make sure that your injectors are clean, no matter where you get your fuel, I highly recommend using the Lucas Oil injector cleaner. So this week we have a very exciting and special guest here at the ranch. Yes, Austin Rohr is here, but he brought his six-year-old son, Ryan. You know we're always talking about genetics and white-tailed deer, but talk about genetics and humans. Look at Ryan and Austin. Is there any doubt who Ryan belongs to? My name is Ryan I'm six years old and I'm happy to be white-tailed hunting. And Ryan is only six and you might be thinking, what? He's going on a deer hunt? You bet, he's just like his daddy. He is just enthralled with everything about hunting. Austin has spent a ton of time with him in the past going over shooting and shot placement and just gun safety in general. And Ryan just exudes maturity and I'm really excited for him to go on his first deer hunt here with us. My name is Austin Rohr. I'm owner and operator of Superior Outfitters in Tyler and Longview, Texas. And I'm here at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch with my son Ryan for his first whitetail hunt. Ryan, are you having fun here? Yeah. <laughs> Our relationship started out with him sponsoring the show and it's just evolved into a great friendship with both of our families. We've hunted all over together, a lot of deer, a lot of hogs, and it's very fitting that he's bringing his son to our ranch to take his first deer. It means a lot to me to be a part of this experience and I'm very grateful for the friendship I have with Austin. You know, Ryan doesn't know it yet, but I have a pretty big surprise for him. I linked up with Garrett at APF. We have something planned pretty big for him. We got something really cool right here. Your daddy has a surprise for you, and this is the gun you're gonna use. You wanna see it? Yeah? Oh. So I got you an APF 65 Grendel with all your favorite blue Timber Creek furniture on it. But this is a big boy gun now, so this is gonna be your first deer rifle, okay? You no, know, Ryan's only six years old, so you know we have to make sure that he's very confident in his shooting, and uh, we're gonna take him to the range, make sure he gets on target, and uh, you know it's more than just one shot. It's we gotta make every shot count. 
So Austin really wants to make sure that Ryan gets introduced into hunting in a way that he's going to respect the animals and appreciate the experiences. And it's for that reason that we've decided that he's gonna go after a doe first. We wanna be able to make sure that he can prove to us he can take down a deer with an ethical shot because he's a great shot on target. But once you get buck fever, it's a whole new challenge. So if he can successfully take down a doe, we're gonna go after a management buck. We're here this morning and uh, we're on to a doe management hunt with Ryan. We're pretty excited because Ryan always got to see dad shoot the deer and feed the family. So this year, Ryan gets to shoot the doe and we're on going a good meat hunt. I love it. Let's just take it all in, okay? I love you. I love you. It's nice, clean, typical. get it already? <laughs> right. Hold on. <laughs> He's clearly having a good time. <laughs> come here. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. I'm so excited. Come here. Hey, good job. Thank you. Let's go get him, okay? There she is. Look at it. Woo! Wow, you did good, buddy. This has been an amazing sight. Getting to see you take your first white cell here. I mean, it's just amazing. That's uh, something I always dreamed of as a kid. And as soon as I had my first boy, I just couldn't wait to take you white tail hunting. It's, I think it's like the most American thing you can do, huh? I love it. You love it? Come here. So you ready to clean it? What are we gonna do once we clean it? Eat it. That's right, we're gonna eat it. Good job, buddy, I'm proud of you. You know, it's been just an awesome time out here and getting to do this with my son, it's just something I would never forget. I don't think it's something that he'll ever forget either. I understand that just uh, memories that you just can't put a price on out here. And I uh, can't thank uh, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch enough for the opportunity that they gave us. There you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Come on. This year we have a ton of big bucks on the Reconyx game cameras. I mean a lot of them and they're really typical framed but we're going after something a little bit different for Ryan. We don't want to ruin him with a gigundus buck as his first deer. So Austin made the decision that he wants his son to take a management buck. You know, the deer out here are amazing and it's just a good testament to healthy nutrition and great genetics and breeding. Takes Hidden Springs Ranch, they do it right. All right, we just got sat up in the blind. It's a hot afternoon. If Ryan can shoot a doe, maybe he'll be able to shoot his first buck. Are you excited? Let's see if we see anything. Ryan, do you see that one doe? Yeah. She's off to the right by herself. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. I should have the doe. Wait till she turns, okay? Why? Because we want to make sure we have a good shot. I don't like how close she is to that buck. Mr. Johnny, I'll tell us when to shoot, okay? okay. We don't want to hit that buck next to it, okay? Let's just watch her. Just take your time, okay? We're gonna watch her. Just keep on focusing on that deer. Just keep on looking at that shoulder. Shoot out, I want it. I got a perfect shot right now. Okay, when you're ready. I'm on her shoulder. I 
think you shot yourself a deer. What do you think? I think I shot a deer. Oh. Do you want to try for a buck now? I want to try for a deer. You want to get a buck? One with antlers? Okay. See this one right here? It's walking in the middle. That looks like a good one right there. He just, he's walking right there, right there. He's just walking right now. Well, let's sit tight. Yeah. I love shooting my butt because it was a monster. After seeing the look on Ryan's face after that shot, he's hooked. I can just he's gonna be a hunter for life. It was a pretty successful night. This was Ryan's first whitetail hunt ever, and he took down a doe first and took down a gorgeous buck. This is the perfect first year. He's got a lot of character. Look at this cool little kicker. Well, what do you think, Ryan? I love it. <laughs> are you hooked on hunting now? Yeah, you are your father's son. We go way back with Austin, and Austin My is- My dad teach me how to hunt. Yeah, he did teach you how to hunt. Hopefully this is the first of many. So thank y'all for letting me be a part of it. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. I love y'all to pieces. Right. Good job, say? Ryan, thank shake you. my hand. That's a good handshake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so part of Ryan's little gift package that Austin got him includes a knife, and it's a Knives of Alaska knife. This is only for animals. So we're gonna clean them up. You'll have some backstrap and some buck sticks to take to school. Heart. Yeah, he's gonna eat the heart. He really wants to take a bite of that heart. <laughs> you know, this weekend is a weekend that I've thought about for a long time, ever since my son was born. Getting to spend it here at Texas Springs Ranch with Keith and Maddie, and it, it's just been an amazing weekend, and it was more than I ever thought it could be. Getting to see Ryan's face and getting to experience those emotions with him is gonna be something that we talk about for a lifetime. This was just like a positive reset for me because watching Austin and his son makes me so excited for the future when I have kids and get to be able to spend TIME outside and hunting and making memories because there's nothing like this. It just gives me faith in humanity and, and really makes you realize what matters in life. My name is Maddie Tackett and thanks for watching. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.